What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Um, as you can see, wait a minute, let me turn this on. As you can see, I only have a couple cichlids in there right now. Um, as you can tell by the title, I am ordering them from Imperial Tropicals. There's not too many videos out there about uh, the starter pack, I guess you'd call it, um, but I am getting 10 all male, 3 to 4 inch uh, peacock cichlids. Alright, but before you guys do it, Make sure your tank is cycled. I had to put this in there just because I don't want you guys to just put in a, get a brand new tank and then you buy these $300 fish and then you put it in and they all die. So if you don't know about the nitrogen cycle, go to KG Tropicals. He, he has tons of videos. He's awesome. I learned a lot from him. And uh, make sure that you guys, you guys' nitrogen cycle is done and it's done correctly. Okay, now we got that out of the way. Let's uh, talk a little about this tank. I won't bore you to death, it'll be quick. This is a 75 gallon Marine Land. I have a uh, Marine Land canister filter, MagnaFlow, underneath here. I've got it for like 111 bucks, brand new at, at PetSmart because they did a price match online, which is awesome. But it does aerate a little bit, and look, right now you can see the bubbles coming out. So uh, if that's going to annoy you, I would stay away from that. I have an Eheim 300 watt uh, heater, and I also have a little backup Marine Land that was in my 40 tank. I just put it in there to uh, to help it so it's not working a lot. I have an all-purpose sand I bought from Menards for like five bucks a bag or something. You don't have to buy those twenty-six dollar buffering sands from uh, PetSmart and all that. That's ridiculous. Go out buy a hundred pounds of sand for uh, twelve bucks and call it a day. These rocks are also, uh, I bought from a landscaping uh, company down the road. I bought 75 pounds of rock for uh, $9.35. I gave the man $10. And I also have a sponge filter in the corner. And uh, that sponge filter, it's only on a 20 to 40 uh, gallon pump right now. But I have no issues. Um, with filtration right now, my tank stays uh, relatively clean. And I also do uh, water changes often, and I, I do everything correctly. Add conditioner if you add, if you do a water change. All right, the sponge filter uh, also adds oxygen in the tank, but that's enough enough with that, okay? Uh, I just want to give you a little bit of my experience. I ordered the fish about 75 hours ago off their website, and uh, it's not that big of a deal. On their website, it says that they will uh, ship anywhere from 24 to 72 hours uh, after a purchase. So they were right in that range. I'm not nitpicking them on it. I just wanted to uh, give you my experience, and uh, hopefully it helps you guys for uh, your experience if you go through them. All right, guys. It just has, has arrived. It um, pretty much said uh, 24 hours from uh, shipment, and it got here in uh, about 23 hours. So uh, before you do this, I would get, take some water out of your tank because you were going to put all these bags in there, and uh, you try to want to get them out and in acclimated as fast as possible. Whenever I do this, I am just going to uh, acclimate the temperature I'm not going to drip acclimate or anything like that because uh, they've been in this box for about uh, 22 and a half hours now so I'm just going to get them temperature right and then uh, and all right we're going to give this a quick open this has literally uh, been about four minutes since uh, it's it's got here comes with this little card very nice oh. okay we're getting it out it's taped all the way around Box is uh, still warm. Uh, there's a heating pad 
inside this. Uh, and newspaper. Yep, and newspaper. So we're going to take all this. And you guys, there's uh, about 2,200 species of cichlids. So if I don't uh, get the name right or if they're not labeled, give me a break. I'm a, I'll do my best I can uh, putting pictures in and uh, labeling them at the end. But right now, most important thing is to get them out of here and acclimate them to the water. Oh, baby. A blue regal looking beautiful at that. I believe they come in double bagged also. And also, before you do this, what I did was I put a uh, bowl right here just to, uh, this is also tank water, just to get all this insulation off. Got a rag, and we're gonna float these guys for about uh, 20 minutes. It is uh, 9 10 right now, probably about 9 30. We're gonna do our best. I'm gonna try to give as many measurements as I can. Also, oh baby, this is a oh man, it's a big one. That's a red something. Just trying to get this insulation off. Though you don't want that in your tank. Your fish will eat anything and they'll probably spit it out, but still. Okay, can you get to see that? Uh, he's big. I, he is definitely in the four inch range. Oh baby, a lemon jake here, guys, and also he is definitely in in the uh, in the three to four inch range, 100%. And so I'm happy about that. I was almost a little concerned about uh, if if they were going to come in smaller. I see multiple videos, and I seen uh, from places, and uh, they were they were coming in like an inch, whenever they should be much bigger. So that's awesome, got a lemon jake. What is this? A red top something. But he is beautiful, I'll tell you that. He's, there's not much uh, air in there for him. Or, uh, I'm sorry, fluid. But yeah, so far, none dead on arrival, which is a big plus we're uh, about halfway through that's four of them and man that's a beautiful fish and he's way bigger now also in that uh, four inch range all right we got oh baby is this a blue neon come on hey oh oh baby you guys this is a blue dragon blood you guys that, definitely, I'm so far very happy with the size, sizes of these fish so far from Imperial Tropicals. I am very happy with the sizes. Okay. Halfway down, folks, halfway down. We got five in. Let's see what this guy is here. We got a uh, OB. I already have one OB in here. So we'll see. Uh, he actually looks exactly like my OB in there. It looks very, very similar. Oh, these are going to look great. Man, but you can see my other fish over there in the corner in my uh, in my tank, and they don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, let's see what else we got. Six. This is some of the one of the smaller ones we got here. 
foot. Oh, baby, a German red, fellas. This is a German red. Very nice. And uh, But I'll tell you what, he's one of the smaller ones. I thought they were all going to be uh, this size or smaller, but we got we got some uh, some honkers in there. Very nice. Like I said, whenever I release these guys, we will uh, get a better uh, up-close visual. So they're not all in the bag, but everybody is alive and well so far. We only got a couple left here. <sighs> Let, I hope there's a red shoulder in here. That's that's what I really would like to uh, to see. But there was a. Uh, hold on, let's see. Oh, uh, this this is hard to read in here. A fluorescent red, I believe this is. Oh, he's a big one too. Look at these guys. This is awesome. There was a place on the website where you could add a comment and, um, you know, to see, you know, it, if you could request something. They say on the website that, you know, don't request uh, that, that, you know, that you can't and they're not going to do it. But, you know, I didn't put anything, guys. I just got, I just asked for 10 and they sent me their 10. So I put it all in their hands. All right, this here is, oh baby guys, this is going to be a showstopper. This is a red dragon blood in here. He, oh that bad tape side here, but yeah, it's a red dragon blood. Looks, looking really nice. Also, like I said, this there's only one more left, I believe, and they have all been in that, uh, been in the range of three to four inches. Shoot, there might be a couple of them even bigger than that. So very nice fish so far, guys. Red dragon blood. Okay, we have. Dun dun dun. Oh baby, this right here is an emerald red. Oh, and isn't he beautiful? Can you see see them in there? Let me wipe off some of this. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish here. Man has a blue face, and uh, oh, they, he's gonna be nice. Okay, so let's just dig around in here, make sure nothing else. I I believe that that should be it. All right, let's uh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly as I ordered. Uh, ten fish. All came uh, promptly after they uh, delivered it. And um, they are all alive. So that's a great thing. And uh, so far, pretty happy with, uh, with the outcome. All right. I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys. So just a quick little update. I'm letting them acclimate a little bit longer than what I uh, said. Everybody looks lively and well. Um, they say on their website that their pH is close to 8. Mine is like in the mid-7s. So I'm going to try to get them uh, as close as I can to temperature just so they only have to acclimate to the pH and, and not the temp. But um, if one was looking pretty uh, sorry in the bag and looking rough, he would be the first one I would remove. And I would put him in the tank as uh, quick as possible. But that's not the case uh, right now. So, just giving you guys an update on where we're at. They're still floating. It has been about uh, 27 minutes or so. I'm going to take them out in a couple. And then uh, start showing you guys uh, closer picks. Also, uh, one more thing. Um, adding this many fish at once could be an issue for some people. Um, I had two uh, male mabunas, a female... Uh, Livingstone and a little uh, female African cichlid. I believe she was like a Marl rock, but either way, uh, they were in this tank like two days ago, and I just uh, gave them gave them away. So uh, whenever you add fish, uh, you can look up uh, like Prime Aquatics. I believe they uh, did a video on uh, adding a bunch of fish. He added like 300 at a time. So uh, what it is is really the feeding schedule. Once you start overfeeding your tank is whenever you start having an issue with uh, your bio um, bacteria not keeping up uh, with the fish you added. Like I said, I took out four the other day, 
So uh, really, I'm really only adding a four more extra than what I had. So uh, my bio uh, bacteria is pretty uh, pretty uh, acclimated to to this type of fish. These are a bit bigger than uh, the fish I had, but still, um, whenever you put this many fish in a tank, you have to slowly uh, feed them um, bigger amounts of bigger amounts uh, so your tank can keep up with it. Uh, that's the issue. It's not adding fish at once. It's how much you feed your fish at once. So I just thought I'd uh, put that in there for uh, people that uh, was wondering about uh, me adding uh, 10 fish at one time. This is the uh, Red Top Luanda. I could not read it through the bag at the beginning, but this is a Red Top Luanda. Uh, make sure your hand is uh, wet with aquarium water. You don't want to mess up their, their coat whenever you do this. And this guy is beautiful, and he is about uh, he, he's about four and a half inches, guys. You got a good picture of him? All right. Now take him out. No, no more video. Okay, this is the uh, blue regal that we got. Be careful, they're uh. Dorsal fins are okay. There he is. He is uh, right. He's at four and a quarter ish. We'll, we'll say right at four. He is. See him? Very lively. He's flopping around. All right. All right. This is the blue dragon blood, and I am excited about this guy. All right. Look at him. He is nice. And he is measuring in at about, this is one of the smaller ones, uh, man, four inches almost on the dot. All right, let's take a picture. All right, this one is the OB. This one had a little tiny hole in the corner, but thank goodness they uh, double bagged it. All right, the OB. He's a feisty one here. Okay. Alright, this is the Eureka Red, and I must say this is one of the prettier fish that I, I got sent. This is just an amazing fish here. Look at this guy. I'm trying to give you guys some sun here. Alright. This is a German red, and he is also beautiful. Uh, sorry, I forgot the measurement on, on the last one. Uh, we'll try to uh, keep up on that. But they are all about in the same. Uh, this, one's a, this one's a little bit smaller here. He's a uh, he's 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 three and a half. He's he's kind of curled up right now. But uh, all right. This is the fluorescent. This is one of the bigger ones they sent me here. This guy is a, this guy's a beast. This guy has to be close to five here. Yeah, he has a little bit of girth too. This guy is a, yeah, he's he's definitely four and a half. Meal, get out of here. So uh, I might have done this. I'm not sure because this is way too much in this bag. This is the the. Uh, the uh, red dragon blood here. Red dragon blood. Oh, look at him. He is just beautiful fish here. He, uh, as you can see, he's he's right four. in four inch. Yeah, maybe a hair smaller, but very nice. This is the lemon jake here. I mean, any uh, African cichlid owner knows what a lemon jake is. Pretty much on everybody's. Everybody's top cichlid, so I'm happy about this one. Oh, he's he's definitely a feisty one in the bag. He was like probably the most feisty. All right, all right, guys. I have no idea what this is. This is like a red shalanda. Well, nine out of ten knowing what they are isn't bad. So, uh, but this guy, I'll tell you what, he is a beautiful fish, man. This guy is super blue. Uh, well, if I figure out what this guy is, I will uh, maybe put a 
put a picture in his name in there, but look at this guy. He is as blue as you can get. All right. Uh, that last one was a red shoulder. Uh, I can't believe I, I couldn't read it, but, uh, but that was a red shoulder. All right, guys, they've been in the tank for uh, quite a while now. Uh, I just figured uh, you guys would like to uh, see the tank with the fish. And also, and after uh, this, I have to give a uh, video cred out to my son, Ace. He helped uh, videotape it all, and I think he did a heck of a good job for being uh, eight years old. I'm the cameraman for this video, and I hope you guys are staying safe of this coronavirus outbreak, and yes, I hope you join the video.